Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Yamila and I am so excited to talk about this today, okay? How to know you are chosen. Y'all know I got my notes and we are about to go in right now. Here are a few of my personal experiences that I felt like, okay, no, I know God is telling me that there is more for me in this moment right now. I know God is telling me I'm meant to serve. I'm meant to help someone. I know God's chosen me because of this side and the third. If you feel some certain type of spark, if you're wondering oh my god i feel like god picked me out of the bunch keep watching this video because i'm about to confirm to you why you are literally so blessed right now okay so the first thing that i wrote down is one you want more for yourself when you refuse to settle you guys my entire life like i was just not happy where i was at i was living in seattle living with my parents not making enough money i used to work at the cell phone place like 90 hours and that was just not enough the money from a nine and five job that i was getting when i was 18 years old was not enough to give me the lifestyle that i wanted i know i wanted to thrive for more but i didn't know for what i know i wanted to do more so I tried 100 different things. I knew there was something for me, but I just didn't know what it was. If you also feel like that, baby, you might be chosen. God is calling you out right now. God is making you feel all these emotions for a reason. I'm a firm believer that everything you feel in your body, it's not just from you, okay? God is talking to you. When I talk about discernment, God is talking to you in your gut. When you feel a certain way, God is telling you to feel that way. When you feel rejection, God knows every single emotion that you are going through, when you are gonna go through it, when in the future, when you're gonna experience it. God is putting every single emotion in you for a reason. So if you feel it, if you just know, it's just, it's just there okay flash i said for number one you refuse to settle you refuse to be at this job all day you refuse to just go home and sleep after work like you want to put in extra hours you want to do more you have a passion that you want to pursue right now you have something that's calling you to go to this opportunity you have something that's wanting you to move out of state like if you just refuse to just be where you're at right now and you have this crazy urge to go do something more go do something else go try new things you might be chosen i'm so excited because i know i'm going to be talking to someone that is chosen like dude you are chosen I just want to know if you feel it and you're already like number one like you feel me i'm so excited for you and i just i'm i'm rooting for you okay like look at me i'm excited like i'm rooting for you you might be chosen if you're not it's okay but here's the thing though i feel like everybody is chosen in a certain way because god has an assignment for you everybody has their own assignment so you've been chosen to do something in the moment when you realize you're chosen being chosen isn't like one out of the bunch i feel like being chosen is identifying your purpose and following god's path for you god wants the best path for you god created everything in your life perfectly for you for you to have the best outcome so when you just follow this gut feeling when you follow not settling when you follow something that you want to do and you, and you just keep reaching you keep reaching you keep reaching and something an opportunity comes for you and you're like oh my god no i, I don't want to be scared anymore i want to try it out i want to conquer my fears you are following God's path for you. You are about to be, I'm just, y'all see me? I'm getting too excited. I don't even know you, but I'm excited for you and I love you and I'm, oh my God, okay. Let's get to number two, okay? Let's get to number two because we have seven right now. We. I wrote down seven, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, you love to love and you love to serve, okay? That is huge because that is a huge sign that you are chosen, okay? You love to help others and you love to serve. Let me tell you something about this. Because for like, when I was young, going into middle school, going into high school, and even after graduating, I had a um, non-soft heart. I was that girl where I was like, I hate people. I hate people, there are no, I really hate people. I hate being around people. Y'all know me, y'all piss me off, y'all don't like, I was always the, that girl that would like blame everybody else like it was it was hilarious it was crazy now that I'm looking at it like I'm the complete opposite but eventually your mindset's gonna change okay 
you are going to empathize with people god is going to put you in position one day maybe it hasn't happened to you yet but comment down below if it has but god's going to put you in the position one day to help somebody and you're going to feel it in your heart and it's it's going to feel so good if that's you embrace it you might be going through that shift right now you might already went through that shift but if you love to love and you love to serve in any way you might be chosen number three that i wrote down is you are into leadership you are willing to bleed first leadership i learned not too long ago well a few years ago i, I think nothing is too long ago okay but leadership is all about being willing to go first and going through all the hardships and going through all the lessons and really going through all the bullshit before anybody else and i feel like if you are chosen god purposely is putting you through all these things because he wants you to learn and when you learn a lesson you share a lesson all right so if you are just naturally a risk taker if you're naturally just like to try new things if you're naturally very daring and very spontaneous and just like to put yourself out there those are leadership traits baby you might be chosen you might be chosen i've always been the type where it's like yolo i want to try and it, and it wasn't even intentional i never thought that i would be into leadership but i actually love to lead i love to take risks i love trying new things and it wasn't even for oh my god i'm gonna be broken one day i'm gonna tell somebody else and so it was never it god works in such unique ways where you didn't even know okay you don't even know god moves in mountains and will surprise you with the craziest surprises number four i wrote down You've had a lot of unfortunate events in your life. You have a deep story. <sighs> Listen, I believe everything happens to you for a reason. And when I tell you God has his best interest in you, it's for a reason. In one of my past videos, I talked about you need to share your story because your story, you might have gone through that because you need to share that story with a certain individual. And a certain individual will never be able to flourish because they needed to hear your story in order for you to flourish and so this is the same thing if you have went through some crazy shit, okay let's not use the s word because i'm practicing not cussing but if you have just man you got a story i've had a lot of different stories and just through being open and through communicating and through you know having a softer heart through learning how to talk to people meet new people be vulnerable with people grow a closer relationship by being open with people and honestly like random people i'm learning that the more that i just open up and share my experiences with others they tell me, wow, Yams, thank you. That's my nickname, by the way. Wow, Yams, thank you. I really needed to hear that. Thank you. Because of your suggestion, I've done this, that, and the third. Thank you. This really inspired me to do that. Thank you. I, I, because of your book, you helped me heal in so many different ways. Like, there's been so many random scenarios where I was like, oh my God, a thought, ding, flashed in my head. And I'm like, you know what? I just want to share this with you. I've gotten so many amazing outcomes. And so that's how I know, like, wow sometimes it really is bigger than you if you feel like it's bigger than you and like you have a really big story and it's meant to be shared you might be chosen next thing that i wrote down is you are very ambitious and creative it just goes into never settling and wanting to thrive for more and just continuing to try new things like that to me is ambitious like wanting to just keep doing more and more maybe you don't even know what that was me for a very long time like i didn't know what for a very long time but i just kept th striving and thriving and when i found things that i loved settled in thrived even more grown even more and it's like baby you might be chosen okay so if you also are very creative and ambitious you might be chosen the next thing that i had wrote down is this is a big one you always feel like a black sheep all right for my entire life literally my entire life i've never felt like i fit in anywhere joined so many communities never ever really felt like home it's just even with my family like i'm the black sheep of my family like i just feel like if god isolated you for a reason god wants you to focus in all right god wants you to tune into him god wants you to follow him god really has something more beautiful for you like don't be don't be discouraged if you feel like you never fit in anywhere maybe god wanted you to stand up for a crowd for a reason right there's a reason why there's people like beyonce and 
Kim Kardashian that really stands out. Like maybe you being an alpha, maybe you being the black sheep, maybe that's the reason why because God has something so much bigger for you and you were chosen. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So the last thing that I wrote down is people have told you that you've impacted their life. I said this a little bit before as well of just like sharing your story and you see that people like you have impacted their life. People have literally told you like, wow, thank you for this and the third. Because of this, you've done this for me. Like you might be chosen like, and it could be like the smallest things. It was literally just the other, other day, like this guy had went up to me and he was like, hey, I'll buy everything that you need at Target. You could just give me some spare change for me and my wife to ride the bus. Like he only had a card. He didn't have any cash and he was just so embarrassed. But he, but he was willing to give me so much money. And I was like, oh my God, I'm only going to Target so I can use the bathroom. And so I went in and gave him $5. Like I knew that it was going to mean a lot for him because he was willing to double he didn't i could be buying the whole store he didn't even know that but he was willing to double it and so just like small things like that like you are meant to impact you are meant to help you are meant to serve you have a bigger purpose it's so much bigger than you baby you might be chosen so that's going to be it that's honestly all that i wrote down but i just feel like if you have like that gut feeling that you were chosen, you want to thrive for more, you want more in your life, you want to break generational curses, you want to help your family, you want to help your friends. Me right now, I'm sitting in my situation where it's like, oh my God, no. I don't want to overshare, but like certain situations where even my friends would tell me things that they wish that they had, I'm like, dude, I have a solution for you. And it's like, if I just work a little bit harder in what God wants me to know, I know that I will be able to have that solution for my loved ones. So it's like, you might be feeling the same way, right? You might be surrounded around so many loved ones that are struggling, that don't have something that you know you could get them and that they just, they're not in a place where they can help themselves. But you know, if you worked a little bit harder that you'll be able to help your loved ones. Like, dude, that's a huge sign that you are chosen. And I personally feel like that I've been chosen i personally feel like i know god's path for me and i know that i've already impacted a certain amount of people god grew this platform for me for a reason and now it's time for me to serve my purpose on this platform and so if you also feel like you're chosen i'm so excited for you if you resonated with everything i said in this video i am so excited for you even if you feel like you haven't and maybe if maybe you feel like you're purposeless maybe you feel like you don't know where to go don't worry i'm telling you that you are chosen you just have to tap in a little little bit more with God you just have to tap in a little bit more with yourself be in solitude you know try so many different things like be daring never give up and believe in yourself all right and if you don't have a good support system and a belief system you have me i'm uploading every single morning for a reason i'm here to serve and help somebody if you like these type of videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel give me a like that would literally mean the world to me to just help my videos get pushed out to whoever needs this message but that's gonna be it i'm so excited for you if you feel like you are chosen you are for me we are friends i love crazy the lulu driven people that just strive towards what god's want to do in your life all right so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it pink girl talks for real today i'm all dripped out <laughs> but um i'm about to go inside and do some work right now that's just gonna be it for this video god bless you on your journey where you're going anything that you want me to talk about i'm here for you i will share what i know with the world unapologetically leaving not like no gatekeeping at all but that's gonna be it guys love y'all have an amazing day